Hey guys, what's up? I hope you're all doing great! Welcome back to another script tutorial. Today I'll show you guys how to make custom chat messages with clickable links, hover effects, and executable commands. So uh, yeah, let's just get straight into it. All right, I opened a new file in Atom. You don't have to use Atom for this, but that's just what I do. Um, and let's start with the link. So I'm just gonna do this with a command. Let's just name it slash link. Put a trigger and then we're gonna send something to player. Oh, so we're gonna write in here. So, in order to make a clickable link, we're using JSON format. And um, the first thing you want to do is you want to make two of these. And inside this one, you're going to type link and a colon. And we're going to make two more. And we're going to do reset. All right. So, now you can put your link in here. I'm just going to put a link to my YouTube channel in here. And then between these right here, you can write your message. Whatever you want. Click this for my YouTube, for example. And that's pretty much it. So um, this text will display. And whenever you click that, it will open this link. It's pretty easy. So yeah, actually, let's just go test it out. In case you didn't know, this is how you add the script to your Minehut server. You go to File Manager, Plugins, uh, Script, Scripts, and then you're going to add a new file. I'm just going to call mine links.sk. And then you're going to find it right here and just paste the code in here and click Save. Once we are on the server, we do slash sk reload the script name, which is links. And there we go. So um, now let's check it out. Link. Click this for my YouTube. And when I click, it sends me to the link that I specified in the code. Next up, we got the hover command. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to use a command to send the message and we're gonna do the same thing again make an empty sent player and then two of these and it's pretty much the same thing it uses the same format so in here you're gonna write tooltip oh and then you want to write whatever message you want the hover to display. Um, this is a hover message. And then after this one, you can write your actual message. So like this message has a hover effect. And don't forget to reset it at the end. So this is the message that will actually display when you run the command. And this is the hover message that will only display if you hover your mouse over this message right here. All right, let's uh, let's go check it out. All right, I've added the new hover effect message to the code. And if we just do SK reload, um, what was it? Links again, we can do slash hover. And there we go. This message has a hover effect. And if I hover my mouse over it, then it would display the hover message. Pretty nice. All right. So the last one I want to show you guys today is the commands that or like the, the messages that can make you execute a command. Um, we're going to do it the same way with a command and then we're going to do send to player and there's actually two different ways of doing this um, i'm gonna show two different ways in the same one here 
So the first one is just whenever you click on the message, it makes the player execute a command. And we'll make two of these again. And then inside we'll put command colon and then the command. And remember the slash in front. So um, I don't know, let's do slash spawn. And then we can do our message, something like click this to go to spawn and then the reset at the end. So whenever you click this message, you will just execute this command, which is slash spawn. The next one is a little different. Uh, you make the same ones as well. And then you do suggest command colon of course and then the command that you want so we can do slash bond as well so whenever they click the message then it will write the command for them in their chat it won't like it won't execute it um, they'll have to press enter themselves but it'll just it'll be there uh, you can it doesn't have to be a command you can also put a message or something i don't know but yeah and then we can write a message like click this to use slash bond for example and then the reset as well so yeah that was the last one let's uh let's check this one out in game and we're reloading the script one last time and what was it command and let's go so the first one click this to go to spawn when i click this it would just execute the command as you can see it's an unknown command right now because i don't have a spawn on my server right now but if you did then it will just send you to spawn then there is the other one which will make me use slash spawn or whatever you want to say um if i click it it would just go down here it would type it for me and i can press enter um so yeah that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any further questions, make sure to join my Discord server and ask away there. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys later. Bye.